Japan's gender gap, the rise and fall. Japan, known for its technological advancements, rich culture, and strong economy, faces a significant and persistent challenge, the gender gap. Despite being one of the most developed nations in the world, Japan has struggled with gender inequality across various sectors, including the workplace, politics, and social norms. This essay explores the rise and fall of Japan's gender gap, examining its historical roots, the progress made, and the ongoing challenges that hinder true gender equality in the country. Historical Context The Roots of Gender Inequality To understand Japan's gender gap, it is essential to examine its historical context. Japan's societal structure has been deeply influenced by Confucian values, which emphasize a patriarchal system where men hold authority in both the family and society. Historically, Japanese women were expected to fulfill roles as homemakers and caregivers with limited opportunities for education or professional development. The Meiji Restoration in the late 19th century marked the beginning of Japan's modernization, but it also reinforced traditional gender roles. The Civil Code of 1898 legally enshrined the subservience of women to their husbands, further entrenching gender inequality. During the post-World War II period, Japan's economic recovery and rapid industrialization created new opportunities for women, particularly in the workforce. However, these opportunities were often limited to lower-paid, non-career track positions, such as clerical or part-time jobs. The concept of lifetime employment became prevalent for men. While women were expected to leave the workforce upon marriage or childbirth, a practice known as N-curve employment. This led to a significant gender wage gap and limited women's participation in decision-making roles within companies. The Rise of Gender Awareness, Movements for Equality The feminist movement in Japan gained momentum in the 1970s, influenced by global feminist movements and the United Nations Declaration of the International Women's Year in 1975. Japanese women began to demand greater rights, leading to the establishment of organizations and advocacy groups focused on gender equality. The government responded by implementing various policies aimed at improving women's rights and opportunities. The Equal Employment Opportunity Law of 1986 was a landmark piece of legislation prohibiting gender discrimination in hiring, promotion, and training. However, the law initially lacked enforcement mechanisms and its impact was limited. In the 1990s, the Japanese government began to recognize the economic implications of gender inequality. As Japan faced a shrinking workforce due to an aging population and low birth rates, the need to tap into the underutilized female labor force became more pressing. The government introduced policies aimed at promoting work-life balance, such as child care support and parental leave to encourage more women to enter and remain in the workforce. The gender gap today, persistent challenges. Despite these efforts, Japan's gender gap remains one of the largest among developed nations. According to the World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Report, Japan ranks low in terms of gender equality, particularly in the areas of economic participation and political empowerment. In 2023, Japan was ranked 125th out of 146 countries, highlighting the significant disparities that still exist between men and women. One of the most significant barriers to gender equality in Japan is the deeply ingrained societal expectations regarding gender roles. The traditional view that women should prioritize family responsibilities over careers remains prevalent, creating a double burden for women who wish to pursue professional ambitions. This societal expectation is reflected in the workplace, where women are often relegated to non-career track positions or face discrimination in promotions and leadership opportunities. The gender wage gap in Japan is also among the highest in the OECD, with women earning on average 23% less than men. Political representation is another area where Japan lags behind other developed nations. Women are significantly underrepresented in political leadership positions, with only around 10% of seats in Japan's lower house of parliament held by women. This lack of representation in decision-making bodies further perpetuates gender inequality as policies and laws are often crafted without the input of women 
or consideration of their specific needs. The fall, setbacks and stagnation while Japan has made some progress in addressing gender inequality, the pace of change has been slow, and recent years have seen setbacks in the fight for gender equality. One of the key factors contributing to this stagnation is the persistence of a male-dominated corporate culture often referred to as the old boys network. This culture favors men for leadership roles and discourages women from pursuing career advancement particularly in male-dominated industries such as finance, technology, and politics. Another significant setback occurred in the realm of political leadership. Former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's Womenomics Initiative, launched in 2013, aimed to increase the number of women in leadership positions and promote greater female participation in the workforce. While the initiative brought gender equality to the forefront of the national agenda, and led to some policy changes, its overall impact has been limited. Critics argue that the initiative focused too much on economic participation and failed to address the underlying societal norms and structural barriers that perpetuate gender inequality. Moreover, the COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated existing gender inequalities in Japan. Women were disproportionately affected by job losses, particularly in sectors such as hospitality, retail, and healthcare, where female workers are overrepresented. Additionally, the pandemic increased the burden of unpaid care work, with women taking on the majority of childcare and household responsibilities during lockdowns and school closures. These factors have contributed to a widening of the gender gap in Japan, reversing some of the progress made in previous years. The path forward, bridging the gender gap. Addressing Japan's gender gap requires a multifaceted approach that goes beyond policy changes to address the deeply rooted societal norms and structural barriers that perpetuate gender inequality. One of the key areas for reform is the workplace. Companies must create more inclusive work environments that promote gender diversity and provide equal opportunities for career advancement. This includes implementing transparent promotion and pay structures, offering flexible work arrangements, and actively supporting work-life balance initiatives. Education also plays a crucial role in bridging the gender gap encouraging more women to pursue careers in traditionally male-dominated fields such as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics is essential for reducing occupational segregation and increasing female representation in high-paying industries. Additionally, promoting gender equality education from a young age can help challenge traditional gender roles and empower the next generation of women to pursue their ambitions. Political representation is another critical area for reform. Increasing the number of women in political leadership positions is essential for ensuring that gender equality is prioritized on the national agenda. This can be achieved through measures such as gender quotas, which have been successfully implemented in other countries to increase female representation in parliament and government bodies. Finally, societal attitudes towards gender roles must evolve. Public awareness campaigns and community programs that challenge traditional gender norms and promote the benefits of gender equality for all members of society can help shift cultural perceptions and create a more inclusive environment for women. Japan's gender gap has experienced both rises and falls over the years, reflecting the complex interplay of historical, cultural, and economic factors. While progress has been made in addressing gender inequality, significant challenges remain, particularly in the areas of workplace discrimination, political representation, and societal norms. Bridging the gender gap in Japan requires a concerted effort from all sectors of society, including government, businesses, and individuals. By addressing the underlying causes of gender inequality and promoting a more inclusive, an equitable society, Japan can unlock the full potential of its female population and pave the way for a brighter and more prosperous future.